Alrighty guys, I've been at this all night, all morning, however you want to look at it. Um, I've got a ton of the parts cleaned up. Here's one of the 351 tanks. Uh, it cleaned up spectacularly. As far as I can tell, there's no leaks or anything in it. Uh, well, I was getting a little bit of bubbling out of here in the ultrasonic cleaner when this was, was heating up with uh, whatever residual gas is left, so I might have to put a new O-ring on the, on the fuel cap, but... <coughs> I did have it plugged off, and uh, I don't know, maybe the tank vent's not uh, venting or something, but uh, I think that's a pretty nice tank, plus I have this brand new one, so it's just dusty. I've got two good tanks, I've got almost enough hardware, I've got all the hardware cleaned up, I do have the mounts uh, for this tank off from a, a junk 350 tank. Um, this handle cleaned up, a little bit of water's coming out of it, I guess I'll set that up over the stove to drip dry, but the handle cleaned up uh, quite nicely. Unfortunately, both of these have issues. This one's tore up here, but good here. Bad here, but not tore up here. Um, this parts carcass that I have here has a good one on it. So I'll steal that one for the 346 and then, I don't know, maybe I'll beat this down and uh, lay a block of brass or something behind it and just MIG that all in and then grind it and beat it all straight. Um, I don't think it does, but maybe I'll just beat it all in there and clearance it so the chain don't grab it again. But uh, if not, I'll look. I might, I might have another one. I'm not. I think the 350s are different. I think the 350 only has one hole, if I recall. Um, but uh, I got two nice chain brakes. I've got one really nice 351 rewind. It cleaned up great. I got to put a new rope in it because the rope is haggard. Um, my 346 uh, rewind turn. It's got one little mar in it right there, but other than that, that thing turned out great. Uh, I got two black coils. I got a set of wiring harnesses cleaned up in here. Uh, I was looking at the 346 case. I'm going to have to get a clip for that or steal one off the... You know, yeah, there's one clip on that other carcass one. Maybe I can get it off there. Um, this bearing's not feeling so hot. But this case half is perfect. This is the case half that was bad and it's got a gritty feeling uh, bearing as well. But these two holes right here and this hole are stripped out on this. But now that it's all torn down like this when I knocked that bearing out it really wouldn't be that bad to fix them three holes so I think I think what I'm gonna do is keep these two cases because they were a match set of cases uh, I think I'm gonna keep it 346 I think I'm just gonna fix them three holes because that case is messed up on that one and uh, here's the new new cover that I that I have uh, the 351 cases turned out great. Uh, that's got a crack in it. Might have to find another one of them too. That one's kind of cracked too. But the 351 cases turned out. Uh, these things are absolutely uh, really don't see anything wrong wrong with them. I don't know, I guess it depends on how... This one's not horrible, it's just in three bolt holes. I don't know, they're the same case, it's just, I might... I don't know, I'll either fix... Fix these and use this case for the 351, or I'll use this for the 351. I'll have to do some uh, thinking on it. Uh, let's see here, I do have a brand new uh, clutch drum. I used the rest of the parts that I had to that clutch drum on one of the 350 builds. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to hunt down a few parts. I do have 
a brand new throttle rod and brand new bearing with the seal in it that goes on this side and I do have new seal for this side and I hunted around I thought I sat it in here I have this is out of my drawer uh, this is the same size this is a SKF but it is a new it is a new bearing uh, and it is the same size as for this this size so I do have uh, two new bearings and seals for this so to start on the 346 I'm just missing the case gasket I'm on talk to the Husqvarna dealer uh, later and see if they've got one in stock that I can just pick up. Uh, these parts cleaned up nice. I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use the best of the best of the best for the 346 and then whatever's left over, um, I'll build that 359. And then for the crank turned out, uh, grit, got some air on it. This uh, crank, this is a I believe this is a 1999 uh, crank. This was the 351. And the 02. This one's the 02. This was the 346 crank. And uh, these things cleaned up amazing. So uh, I do have one new muffler. Uh, I got three of these that have all the guts in them. Uh, cleaned up. I got two flywheels cleaned up. It cleaned up pretty decent. Uh, let's see what else is there. I cleaned up a whole bunch of intakes. I'm not sure what intake I'm going to run. In fact, uh, what I'm going to, I got to clean this up yet. This is uh, what I'm going to run on the, the 346. Um, I got a ton of work to clean up on that yet, but I'm going to leave that intact until I'm ready to get to that. I might clean off the carburetor uh, to find out what carburetor it is so I can order a carb kit. But uh, I've got metal rings. I just got to figure out what intake I want to use. I've, there's like five or six different ones in here. I pick out whatever I want to want to use. And then Said the hardware that uh, I've spent all night uh, washing parts. I'm not going to take these out of the package until I'm ready, but I've got two brand new top covers for this, this build. I do have one brand new side cover. I thought about putting it on this one but no, I don't know I might use it on this one uh, this one's a newer model one the side cover is supposed to be great it's just got a couple Mars and it's not that bad maybe I'll keep that one original that's a primer bulb model this one will be a not primer bulb model um, trying to think what else is there I'll have to get the clutch I'll bring you over here. I'll have to get the clutch off this this one because I need this piece. Oh, well, this one's not exactly perfect either. I don't know if I can buy that piece or not. But uh, I need the clutch. Um, this one, the bottom end feels pretty decent in, but the case is all all messed up. But uh, where this case is messed up. I'd either have to repair it and set it up for the chain brake or build this one as a toy saw without no chain brake. I don't necessarily know what I'm gonna gonna do yet, but I gotta get a couple more parts. I need this clip. I need to get the oil pump and stuff out of it. Um, I believe this is a 351. Yeah, 351. Uh, let's see. Oh, my 
needle cage is completely shot on this one. I'm hoping it's good in that one, but I have a good one for the three, 346, and I don't remember if these come with one or not. They do. They do, so it doesn't matter. But, yeah, I've got a brand new 42 millimeter top end for this thing. This 346 is going to be a nice saw. This thing should be a, a spectacular saw. Um, 351 probably be a decent saw. And I still don't know if I'm going to throw one of the 42 millimeter uh, top ends. I've got between the two 351s, the piston's good in one, and the jug is good in the other one, so I could, well, I don't know, those pistons not exactly. Well, I'd have to buy a piston. I'm a piston short from uh, having a 351 top end set up. So, and I'm still a carburetor short because I used on that one 350 that I planned on keeping, I used a 346 uh, carburetor and stuff on that. And I think the carburetor to that one is right here. I believe this is a perfectly good carburetor. Um, be the carb I was looking for. Yeah, this is 346 carb because this doesn't have the Yeah, because this one's got the the primer bulb. That one's primer bulb. Primer bulb. Okay. Well, sweet. Pick up a curb kit for one of these. So I, I do have another. I'm sure one of these intakes that I've got floating around will work for that as well. I'm going to set them two off because I didn't want to run a primer bulb curb right here. So. Yes, that's awesome. I mean, I have almost all the stuff to make a primer bulb set up, but there's still some odds and ends in here that I might have to dig out for the, the build. But it's getting, I'm going to set these in the box and uh, yeah, I'm glad I got a new, new rod because all my other rods are completely uh, wore out, but uh, looking forward to this. This should be a pretty cool build. Should be a nice saw. Should be a great saw. So, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I think what I'm going to do is set all this stuff off to the side and maybe slip this whole box in a garbage bag to keep crap off it uh, until I get the uh, gaskets I need bearings and seals for the 351 and gaskets and I just need a gasket to get started back gasket and carb kit to get started back on that 346 so I don't know I'm just babbling on here so all right you guys take it easy and have a good one